Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline at Pixie Dust PhD. Recently, I posted over on Twitter and social media this complaint about my DVC guide. They were very insistent on their understanding of borrowing Disney Vacation Club points, which was extremely false. In posting this on my Twitter and Instagram, though, I got a lot of engagement from you all. Many folks said their DVC guides told them the same thing, and other folks simply didn't understand how borrowing worked. Let's clear up that confusion then. I do have a video on the channel a long, long time ago going over banking and borrowing, but we'll do a little bit of a deeper dive into borrowing today. We'll talk both about the policy and do a really concrete example, so hopefully you will fully understand how borrowing works and can implement it to the fullest for your best vacation. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate the support. If you do find this helpful, remember to like the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can then ring the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload new videos. And if you know someone else struggling to understand the ins and outs of borrowing vacation points for their DVC vacations, please go ahead and share this video. This entire topic hinges on your understanding of what vacation points are. This is effectively your currency for Disney Vacation Club. You exchange your vacation points for accommodations, much like you would just pay cash for a normal hotel rate. And these vacation points become available to you in yearly allotments. This happens during what's called your use year. If you need a primer for what a use year is for Disney Vacation Club, I'll leave a link to a prior video on the channel in the description below. Now, part of the appeal of Disney Vacation Club is the flexibility of the vacation points. You're not necessarily locked into traveling the same week of every year. And you don't even have to use all of your use year's allotment of points in that use year. In any given membership year, you will have vacation points in your account for the current use year. You are also allowed to bank points from a use year into the next use year. There are rules and deadlines associated with this. We're not gonna focus on that today, but the point is you could carry over points from a prior year into the current year. And then you can also borrow points from the following year and bring them into your current use year. With your current use years points, banked points and borrowed points, you can effectively combine three use years worth of points to apply to one vacation. And in this video, we'll do a deep dive into borrowing. There certainly are rules around borrowing points. So let's go over some of those aspects of the policy. First, you cannot pre-borrow points. You have to borrow points when you are booking your vacation. So that can happen either online or if you're calling member services. You are able to borrow up to 100% of your next use years points if you want. However, you are only allowed to borrow the amount of points you need to make your reservation. So let's say you have a 100 point contract and you're hoping to book a vacation that's 140 points. You would use all 100 of your current use years points and then you could borrow points as well. In principle, you could borrow up to 100 points, the amount of your contract that's in your next use year, but because you only need 40 more to finish off that reservation, you're only allowed to borrow 40 points. And once you borrow points and bring them into that use year of your vacation, you can't return them back into their original use year. And borrowed points cannot be banked or transferred. So really, once you borrow your points from the next use year into your vacation's use year, it's really for that vacation. If you do end up needing to change your reservation, the standard modification and cancellation policies apply. But just remember that those borrowed points will be in that use year. They won't return to their original use year. And in order to take advantage of borrowing points, you do have to be in good standing. So if you're behind on dues or anything else is up with your membership, you may not be allowed to borrow points. And finally, if you've been in the Disney Vacation Club sphere for the past few years, you will probably remember that at one point they did restrict borrowing to only 50% of the next use year's allotment. Disney Vacation Club does retain the right to limit or suspend borrowing at any point in time. Right now, we are back to 100% borrowing allowed. Anecdotally, I would say this is a very popular benefit and perk. People definitely make use of borrowing, so I doubt that DVC wants to limit it, and hopefully we won't have to for a long time. With the borrowing policy covered, let's get into a concrete example. Here's your overarching theme. Borrowing eligibility is based on the dates of your vacation, not the date of when you book. For that example, let's go with an August use year. That means that every year on August 1st, my contract allotment of points is put into my account for use. So my 2023 use year points are good from August 1st, 2023 through July 31st, 2024. Then my 2024 use year points are good from August 1st, 2024 through July 31st, 2025, and so on and so forth. Now let's say with my August use year that I am planning a December 2023 trip to Walt Disney World. December of 2023 falls within my 2023 use year from August 1st, 2023 through July 31st, 2024. For a December trip, I am eligible to start booking that either 11 months prior if I'm booking my home resort or seven months prior if I'm booking any other resort. The dates will vary a little bit, of course, but generally speaking, if I'm trying to book a December 2023 trip, I can start booking that in February of 2023 for my home resort or May of 2023 for any other resort. Those booking dates, either February or May of 2023, are actually in my 2022 use year. That runs from August 1st, 2022 through July 31st, 2023. So my booking dates, again, are in my 2022 use year, not my 2023 use year. However, my vacation date, December 2023, is in that 2023 use year from August 1st, 2023 through the end of July 2024. So my booking dates and my vacation dates fall in separate use years. 
This scenario, where your booking dates and your vacation dates are in separate use years, will happen fairly often for a lot of DVC owners who are planning their vacations far in advance. But at the end of the day, remember that borrowing is based on your vacation dates. We are booking a vacation in my 2023 use year. Continuing the example, let's say I'm booking my home resort in February of 2023 for a December 2023 trip. In February, when I'm booking, it's my 2022 use year. And if I still have points in my 2022 use year that I want to use toward this December 2023 trip, I will need to bank them by the deadline. For an August use year, that deadline is the end of March, so this would work out fine. Banking deadlines are always four months before your use year starts, so whether this will work out or not depends on what your use year is and when your trip is planned. But just keep those banking deadlines in mind if you are planning on using those points for a future trip. But let's go ahead and focus on borrowing instead of banking. For this example trip, let's say that the reservation I want requires 140 total vacation points to book, but I have a 100 point contract. And let's say that I exhausted my 2022 use year's allotment of points, so I have no points to bank forward. We are working only with the current use year and then borrowing points from the future use year. With a 100 point contract and 140 total points needed, this means I will use all 100 of my current use year's points and I will need to borrow 40 points. Remember that our vacation is planned for December of 2023, which falls into my 2023 use year. So we will use all 100 of the 2023 use year points, and then we will be able to borrow points from the 2024 use year. Even though in this hypothetical, it is currently February of 2023 when I'm booking during my 2022 use year. So the 2024 use year is more than one use year away. Remember again, it's based on your vacation dates, not when you're booking. And my vacation is during the 2023 use year. So then the 2024 use year is only one use year away and we can borrow from that. Here's a summary to try to make it super clear. My trip falls in my 2023 use year, even though I'm booking that trip during my 2022 use year. But because the trip falls in the 2023 use year, you can borrow from the 2024 use year. And I know this exact example relies on the 2023 and 2024 use years heavily, but this general trend remains true forever. If you're looking at a vacation that's during your 2026 use year, you can borrow from your 2027 points, even if you're booking that during your 2025 use year. So back to this point my DVC guy told me. They said that with an August use year, I would not be able to borrow any of my 2024 points until we hit August 1st, 2023. Effectively, they were saying that I had to wait until my booking date was within the use year prior, which as we've just gone over, is not true. But let's look at how silly this would be if it were true. Going with that same example where I have an August use year, I am booking in February of 2023 for a December 2023 trip. The December 2023 trip again falls within my 2023 use year, and then my guide was saying that I wouldn't be able to borrow points until August of 2023. Effectively, that would mean that in February of 2023, when I'm booking my trip, I would be able to use all 100 of my 2023 points for that December 2023 trip. But then I would have to wait until August of 2023 to borrow any of my 2024 use year points to apply to my December 2023 trip. That's only a handful of months in advance of the trip. And this would be even worse if we were planning a trip, say, in August or September, closer to when my use year starts. All in all, if you've ever been told by a DVC guide or seen on the internet that your borrowing points is limited to one use year from when you're booking, that is just false. It's incorrect. Borrowing eligibility is based on the use year of your vacation dates. So your vacation dates will fall in a specific use year, and if you want to borrow from the following use year for that vacation, you absolutely can. I was really astonished how many people let me know their DVC guide also told them this same bad information. If you had to wait this long to borrow points, it would really affect your ability to book the vacations you want. I hope this has helped clear up the confusion. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And if you want me to look at your concrete example for your trip dates, I am happy to read through that and let you know, yes, you will be able to borrow. Thanks again to everyone who has liked the video and subscribed to the channel. I hope the rest of your day is magical and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.